Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I built this fume extractor out of some easy things I found at home and of course a lot of 3D printing. So those are all the parts I intend to use. First is the fan from NZXT, it's an old 3-pin yeah, fan. Then an Arduino without the USB-C, ah, micro USB I guess. Then the power trigger for powering the fan with 12 volts and of course the Arduino as well with the VIN pin and the potentiometer to regulate the speed and the power. So I designed and 3D printed all the parts that you can see here. First is an insert for like a filter that goes in here. Then there is a tip more or less that goes in front to make a smaller intake, increase the suction. And then there is the device itself. Here is the place for the linear potentiometer to turn it on and off and the strength. Then here is the place where the fan fits. Don't mind the poor 3D print quality, but I was too lazy to set it up. Here's the filter insert thingy. And here you can see even worse. I mean, I didn't mind to change filament properly because I don't want to basically trash the bit and wait forever. But here the cable channel goes down through the whole device to the potentiometer. Here's space for Arduino Pro Nano, I guess. The one without USB. Here goes the fan cable that ends up here and back here is the space for the USB-C power trigger that goes exactly here. Adding to the perfect print quality I also had some issues with like the fit because I over extrude a bit so all the parts didn't fit so I had to dremel out a bit from each side. After this was done I was able to start to assemble the whole thing starting with the fan and then I super glued the other parts on the bottom. And I cut the fan cable to fit through the hole here. It all routes quite nicely I have to say, but I forgot one trivial thing and I still have space. I mean I super glued this power trigger and the Arduino here, but I forgot that the Arduino Pro Mini, I guess this is called, doesn't have a VIN pin, so a LDO. It only has the VCC pin which takes 5 volts and if I apply my 12 volts here then uh, kaput, broken. So I still need a space maybe here where I add a either 3 or 5 volt LDO to power the Arduino. This goes to the analog pin to be simply read in. And this fan control, the plus and the minus go directly to the power trigger. And the data pin or the RPM pin goes to the Arduino. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, is where is the super glue? I don't think it is here. Man, I just had the super glue, it's gone. What the fuck? No, coffee. Ah, oh, here it is. Let's add a bit of super glue here. The LDO. The tab is pin 2, so the output. So let's turn it. Let's add it like. Oh, yeah. Looks quite okay. Let's wait for it to dry and then we start to solder. So now I'm done with all of it. I added the potentiometer here to pin A0. The fan to pin, what is it, digital 2, because it's the PVM pin, here the LDO, it's so bad soldering, but whatever, I made a mistake that I super glued it in first and then I added, then I tried to solder in here, but it's like one centimeter deep, but yeah, I'm going to route the cables a bit tighter, maybe for now for testing adding just a piece of tape on the bottom, and afterwards. I'm going to glue it all together, maybe with hot glue or something, but first I still need to flash the Arduino over those pins. After writing a simple script and uploading it to the Arduino, I was able to test it and it all worked pretty fine, so it's time to assemble it completely. So I glued the funnel on it in the front with a lot of super glue and waited for it to dry. Then it was time to test and I used a soldering iron and some flux to test the suction properties. They were quite impressive, but still I had no filter in there, so I was quite concerned that with a filter it didn't work as good or as good at all. So now I used the cotton and filled a bit of it with it. This is what I have left over and we're going to add it here and see if it changes the airflow. I mean it will change the airflow, but hopefully it's not too dense so it still works. Yeah, it still works now with the cotton inside here, inside here. And if I take the soldering iron really quick, oops, I dropped a bit of wool in here. I have my doubts that it works as good as before. 
yeah you can definitely see a big difference it doesn't work at all perfect mission failed successfully i mean kind of if i look from the side yeah i mean no it more spills out the air what the fuck yeah a bit suction but not as much as i hoped for huh but we have some active coal filters downstairs maybe i tried with them so i found this filter stuff in the basement and now i'm going to replace the wool or the cotton with this filter because i think it has a way higher flow rate or way less resistance yeah so let's do this and then we try it again in here you can see the fan still dirty but you can see the mesh here and yeah in the next slow motion i'm going to try it out if it works better or not Yeah, this is awesome. This is really awesome. It works perfectly fine. And no smoke coming outside of the back, I guess. Yeah, like it should. I mean, I'm not sure if you could actually see it after this distance, but yeah, you should be how far the flame, uh, the smoke goes. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I build something out of those batteries.